good morning, good morning, everybody. So, uh, I was almost done shoveling. I don't know, he might, he might have had an hour left to cut. And, uh, but now I gotta come out here. Jasper loader went down, had a hose blow that runs underneath the cab and all that, so. I'm gonna have to come out here and hook up, load these trucks anyway. So, I don't know. Monday morning, fellas. Monday morning. Alright, everybody. So, there goes load number two. I got George loaded. We got skin tight loaded here. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Alright, buddy, ride with it. So I got Frank out there, got John out there, and got Tony out there. They uh they got the hose off and uh I don't know he left a few minutes ago to go get one. So. I don't know, I gotta get to work fellas. Alright, alright everybody. Here's number three on the second round. Come on, come on. A little bit. Alright. So we're gonna put a load of studs on him. That's a little bit uh a little bit closer than Greenville. That way he had time to make it back. That yeah, way he had time to make it back. I don't know man, it, the woods a long ways back there. So we just make the best of it. I got a damn I got a leak on this thing. Can't find it. It's under it's under the loader. It runs my either my D limmer or my saw buck or something it, it, it don't leak when uh like the whole time i was shoveling it weren't leaking uh, it's hard to hard to see under there especially when it's hot but uh we get it figured out day in paradise my little girl she had her first day back to school today but luckily she still she still enjoys school hopefully she'll stay that way she was excited looking forward to going back to school that's always a good thing. I got two other kids, but um, they ain't quite old enough yet. I got a little boy. He'll he's three. He'll be four in December. Then I got a little girl. She just turned two in May. So we still got a little while with them.
John and uh, Tony, they'll be the next two trucks. And then we'll have these three come back. And uh, that'll be a day. All right, buddy, pull up. stuff I haven't been able to do here recently and um, you know, that's, that's him it ain't me doing it but I want to thank, you know, thank God for allow, I've been on more vacations this year than man probably the last five six years so God is good You ever feel like you need a vacation from your vacation? Yeah, oh, that's how. But either way, I'm gonna finish cutting this wood up and uh, I'll check in y'all in a little bit. All right, all right, everybody. The uh, skin tight. Uh, number two on the second round. Let's see, it's one o'clock. All right. Get to go, but uh, it's one o'clock, so him and George they don't have time to come back. Got JP's loader going, so we start moving some wood. Um, they decided 
they're gonna get us to cut that block over there um, it's a different different timber buyer but um, they ain't gonna be able to deck back here and it's about a mile and a half long so we're gonna cut the back end of it here that way they don't have to pull it so far since we're already here but, uh, that's about it so far I just got back on the deck. Um, Frank should be here shortly. Been having trouble with the scales, man. They'll be weighing fine, and then out of nowhere they'll either go negative or go high. I don't know, man. She messed up again. It's done it before. I don't know, you had to change some of the thing. I don't know what the hell they call magnets or something. I don't know what they are. But either way. Keep jumping on me. Frank. Uh, I think I recorded it. Uh, I was loading a load of studs on them. And I had them showing light you know what i mean i don't know what the deal was but he uh he weren't light not near a bit but it is what it is I was saying I was just saying my scales were off and uh they ain't off man Frank was messing with me he sent me a picture of the scale house saying 98,000 I was like what in the world that's like 14,000 pounds off what I thought it was but he, he was messing with me it was the truck ahead of him he was right he was what I thought it was have me tripping out. Oh man, I know damn well I ain't loaded 98,000. But either way, I think he thought he was funny. He'll, he'll see this later. But either way, so I reckon he decided he ain't gonna come back. Uh, he don't wanna be out all night. I mean, he, I was gonna load them with Ragtown. That's uh, you know, the money load. I don't know, like five, six hundred dollars, six something. They could add a thousand dollar a day, but uh, you know, don't everybody want to be out all night? Get home 10, 11 o'clock at night, then leave the house early in the morning the next day. So we'll cut up another pool or two. And uh, head to the house. But we had a pretty decent day. Not really, but. <laughs> that 
we got 12 loads. I think they're getting close to having all the wood out the back. So hopefully tomorrow, after a couple hours, they'll have all the wood out the back and they can start pulling all the wood just up close. Maybe things will speed up then. But I mean, I started out with nothing. So we got one, two, three, Probably four loads on deck. All 12. Uh, it's all on the tractors, you know. Can't I can't cut up more wood than they can pull. Yeah, most of the time it's the, the tractor drivers messing around, but it's a long ways back there to the back it take about every bit of almost 30 minutes for me to walk the loader all the way back there it's over a half a mile cut them a little slack anyhow they still need to tighten up but uh that's gonna be about it for today. No. Hopefully I get it out tonight to y'all. And uh, Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow and uh, I'll bring y'all with me. We'll see what happens.